Hey guys, what's going on? More and more bass players leave their heavy bass amps at home and show up at the gig or at the studio with a bass preamp uh, and bass DI, and such as the MXR M81 bass preamp that we have here. It's got a direct out, like a DI box, and it's got an output, so you can go directly into a mixer, into a PA system, um, or even into a power amp. So there's many ways you can use this, and um, this is becoming more and more popular for live and the studio. So this one here has bass, treble, uh, and mid-control mids are semi-parametric. Um, you can also phantom power it, and um, we got input saturation control and output. So we're gonna play around with this in a few scenarios here. I'm using a P bass here, and then later we're gonna use a Music Man. Uh, and right now, let's start with a more traditional setup where you use the bass preamp, uh, go into the power amp of the Ampeg. So we're bypassing uh, the Ampeg's preamp, go directly, in, directly <laughs> pardon me, into the power amp and then use a, a regular you know, 15 inch speaker and a microphone. So we're going in here into power amp in. So we're just getting the sound, the preamp sound of the MX81 of the bass uh, preamp pedal. And then we're gonna mic it up. Uh, and then we're gonna test the more, the direct line in into the computer and see how that sounds. And by the way, it sounds great, so stay tuned. All right, let's try out a few tweakings here. This is our volume knob. So that controls the output for the entire power amp at this point. Still a clean sound here. Let's bring down the mids. That's what I just did. Boosting the highs a little bit. Now oh, bringing them back. Clean, clean, clean still. down those highs and still plenty of highs in there. There's tape on strings, by the way. So top button here that I'm turning here is the frequency for the mids. It's about four or five hundred hertz right there. All right, one more, two more passes. knob can boost up to and cut 18 db that's pretty crazy let's try dry bypassing the eq still pretty good isn't it all right let's go directly into the board this is not the setup i used here it's just my regular picture going straight into Apollo and into logic here no effects applied bass boosted mids reduced 500 Hertz level that's me producing fret noise Sounds getting a bit dirtier here. Did this to kind of like check to make sure that my levels are consistent with preamp engaged and not engaged. You can control the input and the output and dial that in that way. Not that it has to be that way. Mm-hmm. 
Cutting down the mids here, the 800 hertz range. Compare that between the dry signal. So you get to control your own sound when you're on stage and you're running into the PA. It's all at your fingertips. Right, so if you look at the manual, it shows you all the functions and features that this thing has. You can even do a true bypass with some internal switches. Yeah, let's go a bit more funky here and see what this preamp can do. And voila, here's our dialed in sound. Got a subbing up in there, octaver, envelope filter, compressor. But this gives you a clean sound, especially when you go through a big PA and you start with a pretty clean sound. The big PA with their subwoofers and forth muffles everything down um, anyway, so don't think it's gonna that's what you're hearing in, in your headphones or not. It's not what you're going to hear uh, on stage or through your monitors. But anyways, uh, my verdict on the MXR bass preamp is it's a very clean preamp with a powerful EQ section that's just versatile enough to dial in most sounds that you want. Uh, it might not have that distorted sound that some of the bass players expect uh, from these type of pedals. Uh, that's certainly not what I'm looking forward to. Um, I would say an Ampeg preamp, or even like the Ampeg preamp built into my amp, is uh, a little bit dirtier, a little bit darker. But you can always get darker, at least with this one, and you can push a little bit the input knob and get a little bit of that saturation. In. But uh, noiseless is one of the key features uh, that you want. So we have a noiseless um preamp and DI here. Uh, price point is around $175. It fluctuates quite a bit, obviously, online. Uh, but yeah, and the footprint is not too big either. And again, you can power this with uh, phantom power, and uh, you can use your 9-volt uh, pedal board power adapter, and you can use a battery. So um, quite versatile. All right, uh, hope you enjoyed this review, um, and I'm going to be working this thing quite a bit. Take care. Massive Beats out.